you guys read about the express formidable hello sir we didn't get you have you guys read about the express formidable what is express formidable yes, what sir. is okay so wait for a uh, five minutes i will ask you so okay so we will indicate all category so today we will see how we will see the single category okay so for single category we create the route as well line router dot get and create the path as well like single category Okay. And then we the single okay. and then category controller as it hmm. save it and after it go to the this copy this controller from it and put the category controller and below the all category this and then this yeah get all the category here to what is So, first, and we do the mistake or like we like to expose. So, So, can you tell me how we fetch the single category with the help of um, ID or uh, something else? ID on the select, there is the only thing ID. Yes, sir, by ID. And uh, by slug also we can fetch it. Slug using slug, sir. Hmm. We can also uh, use slug over here. And for this purpose, we uh, designed this slug. That's uh, that's why we designed the plus for the uh, for this only. Like with the help of slug, we can get the single category. Okay. So this is our purpose to design to design this slug over here. If you see. Yeah, according to different different name, this different way slug is also created over there, right? So with that for men's collection, with that kids collection, we can uh, get the single cat uh, category as well. Or if we find the if we want to find the men's collection, then with that for men's collection slug, we can find this category. If with the of kids collection, we can find this category with the of shoes collection as vice versa, right? So we need to change the route for this. So after slash, what we write? We write double dot like slash over there. Okay. And go to the single category. Yeah. Made the block like same as for above. Try catch, and here we write the error. And don't forget to make the block a thing, okay? And don't forget to write the object as well, like request comma response. And just copy this folder. This is same for all the products. 
this copy paste over here and change the array getting single category okay and after that we need the const category in the key of it category model over here and in category model in MongoDB there is one method that is find one right and in in find one we just write this slug and slug is present where slug is where the slug is present hmm? where the slug is present hello In the category, category model object. No, no. In I have created the path for this. You see, if we uh, get the ID from uh, how we have got the ID from bit uh, category, just same like we will do this part for slug as well. Yes, sir. From DB. No, no. How we get the slugs from here? <laughs> What are this part? This is this is params, no? Oh yeah. Param. So we will get this slugs from the params, right? So if you want to write like this, like to slug, so do request dot params, and you can also direct directly write uh, provide this condition as well. You directly write. Like this as well. Okay. We can write this type of condition as well to avoid the one more condition from the top. Right. So, with the help of requested press, we can get our slug. If we, and uh, after that, with the help of slug, we can find the, our category and send the response. Like this is your category you, you want to find. Okay. And we copy paste the response from the top as well, like this. And just go category. Get single category successfully. So if you see, just uh, one thing keep in your mind, like if you see like uh, you see in the path, like double dot slash ID, double dot slug, then it means this data will come from the params, okay? Yes. Okay. So, and also we will see in future, like how we will uh, get the data from the uh, query as well. So we will do it in a front end side. So I will tell you how we do this. So yeah, just quickly go to the view. Better so let's start this out again. Yeah. And go to the final plan. No, we don't know. Let's just try it. Let's check the route one. And under client, click on the request. And just copy this request from it. Control C. And just go there. Okay, and after that, what is the route name? Name is single category. Paste it over as well. And after that, slug. Just put it back at. And if you want to get this slug, just copy this. And 
paste it over here and send me response. You see, the product is coming over, right? That single category product. And which product you want to? Which one like men's collection? That guys. Yes. Okay. So do this part quickly and tell me. Okay. And if you want to add this, lot, this product, then we will write the kids collection over here. And if you can send response, then you see the kids collection is coming over here. So, slug is playing an important role in our backend side. With that of slug, we can perform the lot of Okay, we can perform a lot of actions in our back end side with the approach level. So I'm getting sir then. Hmm? It's computer, sir, getting in the single category. Okay, good. So now we will move towards the deleting the category. That's our last route for this. Delete category. And router dot delete. And how we will delete our product with the help of? Hmm? Uh, no, no, we don't use the slug over here. We just uh, because slug is containing on the behalf of name. Right? So we can uh, use the ID for this. We can delete the product for the ID as well. If and if you uh, use slug over here, then it will delete the data from the database, but it will not delete the ID. Okay, so we need to uh, delete the data. Like, like uh, delete. Yeah. yeah. So let's read about the uh, working principles of this lunch, how it's work and where we use it. Okay. You need to understand about it. That's why I'm, I was telling you like you need to read the documentation of the slug. And who can delete the uh, category? Admin, no? Admin, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Require sign in, we need to token. And if we, we get the token, then we need to confirm the it is admin or not. Okay. And after that, we need to create the controller as well, like delete. Okay, we need it. Yeah. Control and so save it and copy this part from and Codes about the category function or the function. See it. Uh, we need to require as well. See it. Yeah, we need to you see, delete controller is coming over here. Save it. Yeah, this one. Now, we will move to the next one. 
डिग्री कंट्रोल जेट का डिग्री कंट्रोल है ना आपका जी इस कॉपी डी होल फोर फ्रॉम डी सिंगल कैटेगरी एंड पेस्ट इट ओवर हियर एंड ग्रैब डी आईडी फ्रॉम स्टॉप पेरेंट्स and after that we need to create the async control as well it's come our response and after that we need to change the method as well like find by find by id and delete okay and we just add the id over here maybe The is coming and after that, change the message. It's really good. Really Okay. And we don't need to send the category because we are just creating it. Okay. So, let's try this another again. And change the log as well. Delete. And after that, we need to send the idea or end. This particular is not to it. Let's see if we copy paste this ID from here. And so, or we need to log in as admin as well. So, Send it. This copy this code. Open from it. And go to the new request. Okay. And we'll go to the header section in the header ID authorization and paste it over here. Okay, and after that, click on send. And we what is there? Sir, I think you have pasted the ID instead of token. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Hmm. Copy, but we have copied the token from it. Not my request. Yeah, but it's the test. Good. So if you go to the database, you see who are remaining over here, right? So quickly do this and after that we will move towards our product controller. Hello. Yes, sir. Do you? Yeah. Yes, sir, deleted. 
Okay. That's all it's working by. Good. So our routing functionality for the category controller is completed. Now we will move towards our product side. So first we need to create the model for this, right? So now what we name it like yeah, product controller. Product model, sorry. Product model dot chase. Okay. And after that, you need to just copy the whole thing from here. Paste it over here. Like you want to name, you want to select also. And after that, you want to description. Description. Yeah. Description. Description type is a string. Okay. And word two. Okay. And after that, we need to fix the price for our product as well. So price. And what is the type of price? Type of price is? Number. Number. So, why are you guys taking so much time for telling? Quickly tell now, type of you know, price is number. Are you still confused? Like, type of price is number or a string? Hmm? Yeah, so don't forget to change the schema name as well, like product to schema and here as well. Product and the model is product. Okay. Product to schema, product to schema. Yeah, and after that, we will wrap the category because product have category as well, no? So how we will do this? Can anyone have uh, have knowledge about the SQL, MySQL? Yes, sir. Everyone have knowledge about it. Yes, so in uh, have you uh, read the relationship in the MySQL? Like how we create the relationship between the parent and uh, parent to the child? Yes, sir. Like many to one, one to many. One to one, one to many. Like mm -hmm. So same process is uh, because relationship is not possible in the MongoDB, right? So with the help of uh, populate or uh, with the help of ID. So like a, a product or category, no. So uh, we want to make the relationship between the product and category, right? So how we do this with the help of populate and here we pass the ID in product, we pass the reference ID of the category. Like once the product is created, then reference ID of the category is also created. And during, uh, during uh, getting our product, we will just populate the category over here. And we will see the whole category. Like uh, if you see the in the category, first we will cre uh, create the ID, and after population, we will get the data from the product as well. This data from the product as well of for the reference. Okay. So you see in MySQL there is primary key and foreign key, right? Yes, sir. So the, there is a difference uh, relationship between primary and foreign key. So just same uh, concept is also occur in the, but in the form of population. So first we will pass the reference ID over here. Which reference ID? Our category is reference ID. So, and type of the reference ID is object ID because our category is in the form of object, right? 
So we need to. Yes. Okay. So mongoose dot object ID. Okay. And we will take the reference of category now. And in the category model, you will see the name of the category as well. Like this is category. So you just same name you can pass over here. Like category. Where after that, there is a shape which is established over here. Okay. And after category, we will decide the quantity of the product as well. We will how much the quantity you want to purchase. So quantity type is, yeah, quantity type is number as well. I hope you all just understand about the uh, reference ID over here. Don't worry, I will tell you also uh, once we created it, okay? And we need to get the photo of our product as well. So for the photo, I told you to read about the express formidable. Because our photos data is buffer. Okay. And Content type is string. So tell me what, what the use of express for immutable now. You can tell me. Hmm? Sir, for it passing is. data from the form, so no, it, it is like multi-part data, JSON data, every type of data. Okay, and here we just uh, write the in the in the photo that data is buffer, right? So how we do? Uh, how why we write the data is buffer? Why we write it? Sir, because the data of the photo is sent. Uh, in uh, chunks, not in a single. So that's mm -hmm. why it mm -hmm. creates. And also, uh, once we create our data, then it uh, get the only string type of the uh, photo, right? And with the help of express formidable, we can format our string data into the actual data, like photo data. Okay. Right. Monica, you want to yes, say, like, say this now? You wanted to say this now? Yes, so sir. Mm, that's why we use the express formidable over here because during creation in photo, the data, the photo is only in the form of a string, but we want to get our the exact photo and we want to upload exact photo. So with that, express formidable, access formidable change the string into the readable form. And if you see, if you go to the browser, you, if you see in the first formidable, here is written like formidable is a Node.js module for passing from form data. We'll pass the form data, including multiple part, form data, file upload, as well as uh, file, file, right? Multiple form of data. And Here you see, we will, uh, if we want to get the data, like name, shipping data, this data, if you want to get these data names, like description, price, category, then we can get this type of data from the fields as well. There, this data was not have non-file fields. And uh, for photo, we can, and uh, uh, you see, we will update the photo from the uh, our system as well. So for the photo, we will use it, the requested files. 
ओके बस फोटो इज इज प्रेजेंट इन अवर फाइल्स है ना हेलो हेलो यस सर we can get the form data with the help of request dot fields and we can we will get our photo with the help of request dot files because photo is present in the files the simple thing i want to say here okay. so the fields like uh, like name mm. etc will come to mm. fields and files like mm. uh, photo and photo okay mm. so that is the working on express formatable so for product controller for product we don't use the request dot body because we will create the form data and we uh, and we will create the form data and with the access to form formatable we will get the data from the request dot fields form data for the request dot fields and photo data from the request dot files okay so that is our task and also we create the one more module over here like shipping shipping yes or no that is type string and required to okay and you can also like we can create the shipping form is boolean as well like shipping is product is shipped or not like yes or no true or false okay so when we get the timestamp to no just create the model quickly and after that, tell me we will move towards our routes. Okay, guys. Yes, sir. And also, you guys keep the notes for this type of topic, like how we will use the JWT. You write the uh, type the topic in your notes any way you want. How we use uh p crypt b crypt jwt this express formidable right so this type of technology if you uh, uh right if this are this type of things if you write in your text notebook or some any anywhere else then it will easy for you when will you when you will work on a new project So can you go uh, stroll up a bit? Mm -hmm. After name. Okay. I'll do one thing. Uh, I'm copying the model and paste it in a chat box. Okay. Yeah, I will send it in a chat box. So, yes, you can copy that from the chat box. So now, we will go to the routes and create one more routes but product as well. We'll name it product routes. Yeah, product routes dot js. Okay. And category routes here. Yeah. We need to require the express over here. Once express, we can require and after the once router to express dot router. 
don't forget to import module dot exports equal to okay okay let's check the yeah, module dot export each other yeah. <clears throat> and after that we will create a product with the help of router router with a post okay and slash create product and we need to already require signing and well and because admin can create product now that's why we need to check the admin as well okay and after that we create the controller for this create product controller save it and open this controller from it and go to the controller side and create the one more controller over here like product controller Launches and add more exports. Dot and response. response. Save it and you know the other ones from the category. Model as well with your notes. Save it. Okay. So, if anyone have any problem till now, then you must go to product product control to use. Yeah. Product control to use. Yeah. Product controllers. Okay. Here you write only simple function like create product controller, nothing else. Yeah, okay. Hmm. So, to format our data, we need to install the express formatable in our backend as well. So just copy this and go to the terminal. Mm, yeah. This code is specified. It's installed. Let me check it on the JSON file as well. Express formidable, yeah. Install. So, even please install the Express formidable in your terminal, in your project from the terminal, okay? So, let's quickly install, then tell me. Hmm. Hello. Very strong. Okay. And, and don't forget to import the query to air as well for table or whatever you from. This formidable and pass it 
over here as well like for integral. Okay, this is function. So we will call it function as well. Okay. Don't forget to do this in the from the routing side. Okay. And after that, go to the controller side. We will create the create controller. And we want controller. Yeah. Try and catch block error. Save it. So we cut it the controller and copy this error. And then and paste it. In an error. Error in three in. Or let me check one thing for the error for all here and bring it here. Okay, and after that, um, do it in the room. And also ready here. So the file system is present in the formidable. Okay. So we need to require the file system as well. I hope you are aware about the file system. What is file system? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. With the help of file yes, system, sir, you I can. Yeah. yeah, I'm also saying that I don't know. Sir. Okay, no issue. File system is present in a Express formidable. And with that, the help of file system, we can create the form data and then we can get the form data. Okay. And also, if you want to read about it, then you can go to the documentation. Okay. So, Hmm. So, wait just for two minutes. Let me drink some water. Okay. So, could you leave them audible? Hello? Yes, sir. Audible. You get the form data. Name. Second one is slug. Third is description. Right? And uh, Next is price after the category after that quantity and after that shipping except image is all coming from the this dot hello I told you this day and 
liquid or fluid is good. And photo is coming from? Request .file. Good. Hmm. Okay, let me check the name convention, name, slab, description, price, category, quantity, shipping, and model as well. Name, slab, description, price, category, quantity, paper, shipping. Yeah. So, yeah. And we will if you see in category controller, we will check the name like if else condition. So here we create the switch condition. Like whether if name is not getting then it will so two for the switch case is true for the name, false for the name, and if description is not coming, then switch case is false for the description. So we will create the condition aware with our switch case, okay? I hope you are aware about the switch case condition uh, working. Okay? Yes. So first case, we write name. If name is not coming, just we will tell you the response. Let me copy the response from here. And paste it over here. S point dot status dot five hundred. We will make it yeah five hundred. And we send the error because the response is failed. Then we have to send the error over here, right? And what is here? Like name is required. Okay, and copy the whole thing and paste it for the other one as well. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Okay. Second is this description and here we have the description is required and also third is price price is required for each Category and category and let me check the product model for this now. Yeah, we don't have required value. Yeah, so after the category, we will check the quantity quantity and. Quantity is required. And last is for photo. Is photo and photo size. Other photo, if photo is visible over there, then photo must be around 10 to 15 MB. So we will put the condition over here like photo is must be between the 10 to 15 MB. Okay. So we just send the response and here photo is required. Okay. Photo is required and also write the message like uh, should be less than sorry, not 10 to 15, should be less than I guess, yeah, 1 MB. Yeah, 
So it will be less than one into. And after that, we will create our products. Product to new product model. And after that, with the help of uh, spread operator, you can pass the whole data. Right? If they start, please. Hey guys, because all data is in request dot field. So that's why with have a spread operator, we can pass the whole data over here. We would in order to write the name, description price separately. So we just pass the form data directly over here. Okay. And also we will get the slug according to our name and which with that of which functionality we can get this slug. Sluggify, right? We can pass the name over here. Hmm. So if also if we get the photo, photo is less than one MB, then we need to read the photo as well, right? Then products dot photo dot data okay and photo is in file system and we will read our photo with the lab read file sync okay the if the help of this we can upload the photo from the system okay and what we want to upload photo dot path okay guys hello yes Yes, sir. And after that, after that, we will check the content type of the photo as well, like products dot photo dot content type. And uh, what is the type of the photo is? Buffer, no? Yes, sir. Write the photo dot type. For it. Save it. Hmm. Let me check the internet of here. Names, the description. Shift in. So, yeah. so after that, we quickly send the response from the backend. Like a web, we need to send the products as well. Let's say like this, okay. And go to the controller and copy this response from here and paste it to here, make it to the one or two, zero, whatever you want. And product created successfully okay and in the place of that we just pass the products okay so do this quickly rather tell me okay hello the audible yes sir yes, sir.
So, tomorrow we will uh, see the sing get single product and delete our product. And after that, we will uh, uh, we will work on the front end part of this category in product as well. Okay. So, guys, I hope you have understood about this. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, once you get completed, then tell me and we will wrap up the class. This is for today's class. Okay. And we will check the. And also, if you want to, then you will create uh, the product from 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 your own with the of center client. Okay, this is your task. If you fail, then tell me. I will do it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So, what about the photo? If we test in our center, I will tell you. I will tell you. Just go to the new request. Okay. You go to the body, right? And in the form, if you right. Here, right, photo. And here, if you click on, uh, yeah, if you click on file, if you just, if you click on the choose file, then it will, you can choose the photo from the your desktop as well, okay? Like this. So try to do it from there, uh, from your own. And if you're facing any issue, then tell me, I will, do it tomorrow, okay? And okay, rest hello. of uh, and rest of our form data will come in uh, uh, JSON. Yeah, you just no no write okay. here name here. Okay, you just write okay. everything over here. Like you, what do you write over here? You just write. Yeah, here. for this we are sending form dot yeah. so that's why yeah. we should go to mm. form. Like you write the name, description, price, category, and quantity. And slug is created successfully with the help of name and shipping is by default created in your backend side. You just give the name, description, price, category, quantity. Okay. And photo okay. with the help of desktop. And you need to log in as a admin and you need to pass the token as well in the in headers in authorization. Okay. And in the category, you just pass the category ID. And which ID? Like you, this ID. Okay. This category ID. So do it from your own. If you're facing any issue, then tell me. I will do it tomorrow. Okay, sir. Okay. So I hope you have completed the code. Yes, sir. Okay. Or I can paste it in our chat box. It's completed, sir. We'll check, check it once. Check it uh, once again. Check it once again quickly. All of you, check it. Because Saurav is not available here. And so majority is facing their head injury. My very, I don't know what she wants because she's lagging in the project. So, and uh, Saurav is also not joined and he also he didn't write the uh, reason in the chat box as well. So you are the three people so only uh, can take the serious of, seriousness of this project, I think. So no issue. If they will come, then that is uh, profit for him or if you die not to, then that is also okay. Okay. So I hope you have completed the code. Yes, yes. sir. Completely. So I'm going to stop the recording.